Well, Vancouver weather has arrived. It smells great. It's been raining all day. And um, I wanted to go back. I went to the beach yesterday to soak, to soak the body and to take these horrible things away. Um, the sea does help a lot, man. See what it does? It leaves a, it has like a big hole in it. And it's just like crazy still, see? These craters. It's been, what, five days already? So I don't know what's, what's uh, triggered it. Yeah. I, know, yeah. I mean, I know the cause of it, but I'm trying medications and, and everything that I could possibly think of to, to treat it. I am um, indulging in getting some mac and taking some aconite, which is a mild poison. And I didn't quite kind of reluctant and now I see why because I actually put some in some soup and left it overnight and before I knew it I was um, my mouth was frozen like um, a dentist frozen so well this is how nasty this uh, horrible lagoon is as you can see it's green-brown, diarrhea, pure green-brown, from all the rain. It flooded and all the um, sewers poured out, and this is where you get leptospirosis from. This, you know, I would never go anywhere near it. That's why I haven't been anywhere near it. And I was just in the middle there, which would have been cute to see. But, lots of standing water. Um, Many times in the last week, I did meet a guy who lives in this building, finally, who came and told me that this area is one of the most dangerous areas that he's ever been in. Um, we took a drive and we went that way. You can see there's a road behind there, the many roads, and um, he actually, I never told him about the incident that I had where I was sort of chased and, and you know, stalked by some strange people in, in cars and he, he, he volunteered that um, yes this is a, a dangerous place like exactly where I had been well, I then took time to drive to the uh, to the beach over there and um, about 10 minute drive and he uh, he had never been there and then as soon as he saw the people that were on the beach drive he kind of freaked he didn't want to go near them he had said that you, you can't be sure you're going to meet him as a, a foreigner, as somebody who is light, has a beard, that's blonde and all that kind of crap. Like that. You're a target. And I said, yeah, I know. And that's what I said to the CHCKL, that this place was so dangerous and, uh, you know, the rest of all this history. Now, the standing water aspect um, is a breeding ground for some of the most dangerous mosquitoes in the world, by the way. Um, malaria and dengue fever is associated with that. And the people that were, the guard that was there got infected with malaria. So, yeah. So essentially for the last, you know, 10 months, or since I've been here in April, I have actually stayed, this has been my, you know, the apartment in here and downstairs. I've stayed, there's the shopping mall right there. So, you know, I've, done very little and when I'm really sick that distance to here is um, quite dramatic in how I can't walk it with bags for groceries. Uh, I think I'm a bit better these days. I mean a bit better as in I don't know how I need to prescribe to describe feeling better. Because I'm better and I'm not better. It's a minute by minute, hour by hour and I've spent most of the day in bed again. So, anyway, th this has been my prison. That's why I can't I can't 
kept it too much. I um, and I'm worried because you know, see all that shit that, that's coming out. Any anything seems to trigger it, stress or so. Can you imagine they're gonna try and put um, on my veins or something? I used to have very prominent veins from um, bodybuilding, and um, if they try to give me an IV. That could cause all this shit to come up. So I don't know what to do. Um, Canada has already made a horror of my life, and um, facing, facing the long to recuperation. And I can't handle it. I thought of it alone. How am I going to get on a flight? You know, it's, if they decide to rescue me. I'm thinking logically, how do I do this? Because um, I have to get through all the clearances that they're going to have to do. Um, there is, going back to Vancouver, where I can't afford anything anymore because of what they've done to me. <laughs> I just don't know. And then, you know, to stay close to the hospital, that area has become so expensive now. When I was there, it was, it was like $1,000 a month for a one bedroom. Thanks, man. Thanks, uh, King's expression. It's such a dangerous position. Absolutely. You know, you put a price on my death. All the people that have gotten involved or will be involved. It's like ten million dollars. Like, who, who does that? Well. A sense now that that 10 million is going to be a, a benchmark for settlements because you're making decisions for me that I can't even on me that results in my death and my, my you know the torture I have been through this last 10 months and it's still not over and then to think that I have another year of it oh, I can't even I can't even go there I'm not that strong They say that God gives you only what you can deal with and that you can get your strength for. I said, no, 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 that's not true at all. This is overkill. Anyway, I do have to go to the grocery. I've been using up my internet like crazy as well. Well, not the machine. The, the, the Maxis people, they're just... It's just ridiculous. Anyway. We'll see what will happen.